Hey, thanks for joining us again for another Hispanic Heritage Month craft. My name is Danny, and I work at the East Branch Library. And today we're going to be making Guatemalan worry dolls, these little miniatures. So when you come to East Branch to pick up your kit, these are some of the things that it's going to include. Uh, pipe cleaners, you'll have six of them, um, three wooden beads, and a length of yarn. Um, this will be your hair, this will be making the body, and then the beads will be the head. Uh, and then you'll also have the history of the Guatemalan worry doll and instructions to go along with it. Okay, so to get started, uh, we're going to start with the hair, which is, you'll, you'll be given a length of yarn to start with. And I'm just going to coil it around my hands until I'm happy with it. Okay. Something like that. Okay, so you'll just have this like little coil of hair. <laughs> and then you're going to take your two pipe cleaners, you'll need two to form the body. Um, and you're going to loop them inside the hair and bend them in half. So it should look something like this, okay? But we're not gonna worry about the, the hanging end right now. And then you're gonna need to put the head on. So I'll just take this bead and I'm gonna, the on the ends of the pipe cleaners, I'm just going to thread this bead through. And it could be a little tricky, but they will fit. Just like so as tight as you can get uh, around that yarn. Okay, so there you go. You have, you're starting to see a little bit more of a doll there. And we'll leave that for now. What we wanna do is next make the arms. So you'll, you can either split them in half, you'll split them in half and you can designate a color to be the arms or legs or you can mix them or whatever. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and make the arms on this one yellow. And I'm just going to loop this around the body of the doll a couple times because these are going to be too long. We want to shorten them a little bit. So you'll just kind of continue to loop that around until you're happy with the arm length. So we got something of arms and next I'm going to bend them in half, okay? So this is what your arm is going to look like. That's going to be the real length of your arm and then you can loop that end right back around so you don't um, get poked by the wire. And then you're gonna do the same on the other side. You're gonna bend it in half and take that end and loop it back around the body so that the wire is not gonna poke you. And then you can twist the arms too to make it a little bit more uh, stable. But there you go, there's the arms of your worry doll. Okay, and then the legs. So these are going to be super long legs if we left them like that. I am going to loop them around the body a couple times. And okay, so and then same with the legs. You'll bend them in half. So these are really bendable and you can um, adjust them as you go. Like see, I think the arms on this one might have been still a little too long. I can pull that back out and fix that if I need to. Okay, so I might loop that around a couple more times and then bring it back in. So I have shorter arms and they match the legs a little bit better. Okay, and the same with the other side. So there is the body of our worry doll and the hair and the head and the next step would be to um, take your scissors and I don't want that little end but we're going to take that loop and we're 
going to cut the loop so that now it's got loose hair. Okay, so here is your doll, and of course they need a face, right? So I'm just going to draw on a little face. Just a little, so two little eyes and no for the mouth. Okay, and now if you want to add something like, oh, this is a this is a long-haired girl, you can take another pipe cleaner and use it to um, maybe make a little bit of a skirt for her, or if you want her to have more color in what she's wearing, you can change that up too. See, like I'll go ahead and wrap this around here, and then you got this cute little skirt she's wearing, just like that, and there's your worry doll. So here are some of the worry dolls I made. Um, you can see you can change the colors and make whatever combination you want. And here's the little boys and here's some long haired girls. And uh, But it's totally up to you what you want to make. According to the Mayan legend, worry dolls are here to ease our fears and anxieties. Here's how they work. Before a person goes to bed at night, they tell the doll all the problems that they've been worrying about. Then they tuck the doll under the pillow. While a person sleeps, the doll is supposed to take away their worries. Worry dolls are inspired by the Mayan tale of Princess Exmukane, the daughter of the sun god. It is said that the sun god gave Exmukane a very special gift, the ability to take away people's problems. Over time, people started making dolls in Exmukane's honor. They shared their worries with these dolls in hopes that Exmukane would listen and solve their problems. So now that you know how to make a worry doll, uh, come grab a kit from East Branch Library. Okay, so the next program that East Branch is going to have is called Calaveras and Talaveras. It's going to be making sugar skull and salto tiled magnets um, to help display your art on, say, like your bridge or something. Uh, you'll be able to color those or paint those the way you see it, the way you want, and they're going to kind of tie into Dia de los Muertos. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you learned a little bit on how to make this worry doll, but also learn a little bit of the history. Um, see us next time. Thanks.